All right, Pat, I hope you have a fun day today, man. That sounds awesome. I'm jealous. Would it be in bad taste if you do give your kidney to your brother-in-law? Would it be in bad taste to have a going away party for your kidney? I mean, technically, I'm still going to have visitation rights. You know? It just won't live with me anymore. I'm kind of like giving it up for adoption. The, the thing is, is that I... They they asked me in the they asked me in the questionnaire they were like is this for someone specific or are you looking to become an altruistic donor and I was like well listen I got guilt in my heart for a lot of things and I got a lot of different things that I'm trying to do to make up for some bad some bad that I did over the years but I'm not to the point where I'm like I'm just gonna give away a kidney to a total stranger so that I can feel. Uh, Generous. Oh, yeah. Update the run info. You're absolutely right. I, I should have done that before I started. Thank you. The worst part about today is if I make it through the stream with no real problems to speak of. <clears throat> If I make it through the stream with no real problems to speak of, the hardest part of the day is going to be not napping. It's going to be not napping when the when the stream is over. Like, actually making it to bedtime and just going to sleep because I'm exhausted. Because I, I, I legitimately need to be, like, um, really productive between now and the end of the day. Not that other people don't, but I, I just... I, I By taking a full, legitimate, no-bullshit day off yesterday... And spending time with my kids uh, and not doing anything work related I kind of pushed everything out everything that I normally do on my day off I pushed to m Monday after stream is over also Taffy I got back to ordering Sogo again I suggested it to a friend a month ago and he's still been ordering it I saw him eating it during D&D on Saturday I needed to get my own stuff again awesome 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 anything I can do to make sure that Dan sees success brings me great joy I got red in my ledger. Don't we all, man? Don't we all? But yes, me especially. Not like bad. You... Oh no, you little rat bastard. Fuck you, spider. You little dodgy, twitchy shithead. Um. Yeah, not that we don't all, but... And you guys are going to find out at some point that I got like... Dead hookers in my flower bed or anything, but you know... I'm definitely trying to do the back half better than I did the first. Oh, this is not great. Yeah. Early on with the pulling in is kind of rough because, like, you don't have tears, but you also don't have flies to make up for the lack of tears. I gen genuinely thought we'd be able to do more damage than that. I should, I should wait and grab that on the way out the floor. Assuming I'm not killed in transit. It's so hard because if you miss with the tear and you miss with the fly, you're kind of double screwed. Because it's going to be 20 minutes before either one of them is ready to go again. Oh, you little rat fuck. Parts of this make me so irritable. <laughs> I get so mad when I'm not able to like sort of control the flow of the game anymore. Man. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Glitch again, thank you for the 100 uh, for me, but also thank you for the 50 bucks for Cat. That's incredibly generous. Holy Cat, tier one, 19 months. Thanks to Jackspot for my gifted sub. Uh, the 19 whole months doesn't feel that long. I don't know, Holy Cat. You're one of those folks that at this point I feel like has been here forever. I would I would feel weird going back and seeing like your first interactions with the channel 19 months ago because I'd just be like, oh, wasn't wasn't Holy Cat there at the start? Because it feels like Holy Cat was there at the start. I'm glad to not have to be chasing coins anymore. 
that said, that Tainted Keeper run was super awesome. That was a lot of fun and it was relatively easy, all things being e equal. Tainted Keeper runs, as fun as they are, still can sometimes be a huge pain in the ass. But man, did we ever manage to make uh, a, a real dirty one. We'd still be playing it right now, honestly. We'd still be playing it right now if it had offered me Delirium. I would love to take car battery. Car battery would be great. Whoo, shit, you just have to live with that today, chat, sorry. Normally I'm incredibly self-conscious about that, but... Um... Normally I'm incredibly self-conscious about that, but... Not a lot to be done today. This is gonna be a yawning sort of day, I think. If you weren't here at the top of the show, I, I took uh, Grayson and Rory and four of Grayson's friends out to a, uh, like a, I don't want to say an amusement park because it's not like a theme park, but like a children's, a glorified children's play area at a place that's um, generally intended for like adults to use as a driving range and a putting green, but it has go-karts. So we did go-karts and then we did an 18 hole round of mini golf. Um, and then we did batting cages. And Grayson said that given the circumstances, given the circumstances of COVID, he said it was the best birthday party he could have asked for. Good lad, that Gray. There's a lot going on that I got, I got I'm, I'm curious about. Well, shit. <clears throat> I think that's probably my best bet. And I just have to play this as safe as I can. Ooh, it is 11.02. I did take my... I did take my dumpy butt to the gym this morning, so I am... really hungry right now. That said, if and when Amber orders something for us and Rory, who's homesick today... Um, I got a reminder that I need something that's reasonably health conscious. There we go. Not bad. I'll take the one black heart. It'll help us sort of just ensure that we have an opportunity to get a one in three deal with the devil chance. Just in case something goes shitty here. <laughs> Alright, well, that's probably what we deserved. I'll take the range upgrade, it's fine. Curse room? Rory's sick. It's not real, like, real bad sick. I, I, genuinely, I think, uh, uh, I think, Holly, the Rory, um, he's, he's got the squirts. I had the squirts because I had, I had the audacity of having two beers. I had the audacity of having two beers um, at 41 years old. So that's why I wasn't feeling well the other day and had to actually end stream for a little bit. Rory, I think, is just suffering the byproduct of having copious amounts of, like, cake and sugar and stuff because we've basically been celebrating Grayson's... We've basically been celebrating Grayson's birthday for four days now so I think between all the the cake and sweets and early Halloween candy and the like I think um, oh my well the good news is we get to leave here with car battery this is the story of the newest denizen of the cave I think I mean like we have fried chicken for lunch or for dinner last night he had hot dogs for lunch yesterday I, I just I just think that all the shitty eating has caught up with him. I did. I woke up at 3:30 a.m. and still went to the gym at five. I was very proud of myself because I did not want to. Abs tier two, 26 months. Abs, thank you so much. I'm gonna look for crawl spaces. 
I don't know that I'll do every single rock, but I'll do clusters like that for sure. There's just no reason not to when you're looking for early advantages. Even a bad, even a, a bad like space bar item now becomes either a space bar item we can carry for a little bit, or it becomes uh, a red fly. So it's worth looking around, I guess. Additionally, I could get a quarter here, and that would mean not beating up the donut machine to get a uh, car battery. Coworker who constantly finds minor stuff that I mess up on left the AC unit off on the equipment outside. After he tested me, he called the shift lead to get me to look at my phone. I found the unit was at 101 degrees. It's only supposed to go up to 90. That's kind of gratifying, if I'm being honest. I found the anti work subreddit. I'll level with you, chat. You can shoot that shit directly into my veins. I low-key adore that subreddit. It is just filled with, like, uh, borderline superhero-y job quittings. And this market where, you know, people feel less inclined, people feel less inclined to, uh, work terrible jobs for terrible pay and terrible benefits and terrible hours to be treated er terribly by terrible managers. Well, thanks to the pandemic now, you know, anybody who's in that situation is just like, there's a hundred places hiring on this block. You can take your... 1950s boomer style attitude about me and fucking shove it. I'm out of here. And I gotta admit, that is uh, quite cathartic to read. Oh yeah, Glitch, that subreddit is dynamite. Holy shit, is that fun. I love that subreddit. Nothing more fun than seeing those text exchanges that start with a high and mighty middle manager who can't wait to chew your ass out on Monday. And then because of the way the current climate is with with the labor shortage, i.e. people not willing to risk their lives and damage their health and mental health for terrible pay, to watch that person backtrack when their bluff gets called and somebody says, fine, mail me my check, I'm out. Whoa, 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 wait, we can talk about this more in depth when you get here on Monday. I'm like, I'm not coming in on Monday, I just quit. You suck, bye. Ugh gives me life it also reminds me that any time that i feel like i'm tired any time that i feel like i've got burnout or fatigue i still may i don't want to invalidate my feelings but it does remind me that that is what looms underneath me if i ever decide to fall off this and see where the net catches me yeah you want to fuck with my hours cool i'm out now hold hold on i need slave labor yeah well it sucks to suck bye guy it reminds me of when I was in Philadelphia. I was waiting at I was waiting tables at a place called City Tavern. City Tavern is open on major holidays. It's open on Thanksgiving. Well, it used to be. It's closed now. Like it's permanently closed now. COVID COVID ate it all up. Gobble gobble gobble. But it was it was open on every major holiday, including Christmas and Christmas Eve. I got married right before I took that job there. So Amber and I got back from our honeymoon and moved into our first apartment together. And I went in and told my boss that I, I would really like to have Christmas Eve and Christmas off. And he said, those are some of the busiest shifts of the year. Those in Thanksgiving. And I said, yes, sir, I get that. But like my wife and I just got married and this is our first holiday season together so I was hoping I could spend it with her and he, he genuinely was not going to let me take like Thanksgiving Christmas and Christmas Eve off until I bought him like a hundred dollar bottle of Cote de Rhone which honestly is more than I make in most of my shifts and gave it to my manager to bribe him so that I could have Christmas Day off. I still had to go in and work Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. 
But at the very least, I got Christmas Day off so that Amber and I could spend our first Christmas as a married couple together. Actually together. I was not a fan. I was not a fan. So I see all these stories of people fighting back against glorified slave labor and it brings me hope. The shitty uh, paid job I uh, worked, I loved because the owner was cool. He knew how the job was just filler for me. And as soon as I said I had another job, uh, his immediate reaction was get the fuck out there and go make some money. I... For the life of me, I cannot find the second secret room. Um, I have been taking this very fortunate money you've been giving me, chat. I, I mentioned this earlier, but now that Glitch is here, I, it's important to me that Glitch hears it too. I've been taking this this money that you you all have been funneling into my channel. It It can't be here, but it looks like it would be there, but it can't be there. And I've been over tipping everywhere I can. Anytime that I go out, man, Grubhub drivers, uh, my barber. I've always over tipped my barber, though. I like him very much. He puts up with how awkward I am. He cracked a joke about my mom one time, and it wasn't even like a your mom joke. It was just like he, he said something mom related that, that was funny. And frankly, it, it was funny. But I got super weird about it for whatever reason. I just got real clammy. I don't, I don't know why. And, uh... He was like, yo, man, is your mom still alive? And I was like, yeah, she's, she's still alive. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he just sat in awkward silence for like a half an hour because he was terrified he'd made some mistake. Nothing's wrong with my mom. The joke was funny. I don't know why I didn't laugh. I clammed up like a motherfucker and made it super awkward. And he deals with that kind of shit for me all the time. I'm so weird. Hey man, those are bits. I'm so weird around people anymore. And, and I, the the place where Justin and I get our hair cut, they're so fucking cool. They're all tattooed music hipsters with side hustles and like bad attitudes, but in like the impressive way. They're all devil may care rebels. And I'm just an old man with a job that I thought was cool, but then I told them what my job was, and they just didn't give a shit. So I'm just always weird when I'm there now. Um, but yeah, he, pu he puts up with my social awkwardness, and I pay him for making me look good and for putting up with my social awkwardness. Speaking of socially awkward, Noah drops 100 bits and says, I remember way back when I worked running the Richmond Shakespeare Festival for between 9 and $15 an hour was a fun but shitty paying job for all I had to do. Glad I retired in 2019 after working for five years while also being a lawyer. Uh, yeah, yesterday when we took Grayson and Roy to this go-kart batting cage mini golf place, uh, almost every kid who was working there was a kid. Almost every kid who was working there was like 15, 16, 17. We got done with go-karts, dude. And like, they, they looked like they could have been shitty, like shitty children, but they weren't shitty. Um, one of Grayson's friends showed up late and they stopped the go-karts so that this kid could get in on the action uh, and then ran them all out and let them go a couple extra times around with their friend involved as well. Um, yeah, they were very nice to Rory and to Grayson and to their friends who were all 10 years younger than them. Um, so when I was done, I dropped a 20 in their tip jar. Then one of the kids that we were, that we were entertaining for this birthday party, um, forgot his water bottle and we went back there to get it. And one of the like 15 year old kids running this ride, running these go-karts, like thanked me three times. Like, thanks for the tip, man. Hey man, thanks for the tip. And I was like, yo, like a no problem. <laughs> and then I tipped another 20 at the front desk because the people at the front desk were getting just railroaded by like you know lifetime golfer MAGA shitheads why is this not working uh it's cause we're all 16 and it's never worked and we can't get the parts ordered to fix it and we're just kinda stuck and trying our absolute best well I won't stand for this where's it? I actually saw a man go full Karen I actually saw a man go full Karen and ask for the manager and I rolled my eye, I got, 
What is going on? Right. I think, I think Amber said that she was going to Sonic for her and the boy. If she's going to Sonic, there are plenty of places that she could drive. Like, I'll take a burger and fries. It's fine. I'll just compensate accordingly. Um, I'll calorie count it and, and compensate it accordingly. Did you adjust the timeout with Bitsmount? No, I haven't touched it. I, I honestly got I haven't touched it since I installed it. Damn. Did Vio get timed out? What's going on, Tappy? Is Vio... Vio's back from the Shadow Realm and you're playing Tainted Apollyon? Fast food calories are not the same as food ca Yeah, I mean, you're right. Um... You're absolutely right. I, I mean, here's the thing, though, is, like, I don't... I genuinely could... <laughs> be careful how loud I say this. I genuinely could see Amber getting kind of flustered at having to make decisions based on, like, no no real feedback of me saying, get me exactly this. Um, I basically said, get whatever you guys want, but also get me something suitable for lunch. And unfortunately, that means that the world of ordered food is is her is her is her area from which she can select this is the same woman who when we go to a restaurant that has too many pages on its menu makes me pick one for her so she can narrow it down and i could kind of see her I, I i could see the wheels grinding when i said yeah just get me some food and i was like if you can get me healthy great and if not then just grab me something for wherever you're going and I'll just make it work. I'll adjust accordingly and I could I could hear the uhs and ums start to stack up to the point that while she was talking to me she dropped the shovel that she was using to like, she's planting daffodils. But yeah, she literally dropped the shovel she was holding and was uhing and umming real hard and I was like, baby, don't overthink it. Whatever shows up in the office is perfect. It's fine. So. That is the bummer part about Treat Stream is that, like, you know, if Treat Stream worked really well. That worked out. If Treat Stream worked really well, then I could just load it up with, like, not unhealthy salads. I could load it up with like grilled chickens and salmon fillets and stuff like that. And just have that delivered from, from pubs and you know like pubs and gastro pubs and stuff like that. I think I've said and stuff like that six times now. I could load it up with, with healthier carry out and take out options, but treat stream sucks. And it's hard for me during stream to talk to Amber for 20 minutes about what she and Rory want to eat for lunch. It's easier for me from a broadcasting perspective to just be like, throw something on the list for me. I am I'm also far far less picky about my food than anyone else in the family. Amber's not difficult. She's not difficult to pick for. I get I could load up just about anything. I felt terrible. <clears throat> It felt terrible. The, the one thing that she learned she doesn't like about sushi is she doesn't like the flavor of nori. So whenever we do sushi when it's like her and I, I have to make sure to get some stuff for her that's soy paper and not nori. I was a total asshole and didn't get her anything with soy on it. Uh, with soy paper instead of nori. When it was Grayson's birthday, he wanted s sushi. So I just tried to get as much as I could bang for the buck wise. I was getting like, I basically got, got like a party platter. Because the, the, the price was right. Uh, yeah, I guess. But unfortunately, I didn't tell them to switch any out. And so she sat down to eat. And I'm sitting there with $110 worth of sushi in front of us. And she went, all right, which of this has got soy paper? And I went, oh, fuck. And she was like, none of it has soy paper, does it? And I just kind of went...
What she did do, though, was that she ate sushi that was, um... There was just sushi, like, just just the fish on rice. She ate the sushi that was just fish on rice. Um, and then she also had some of the rolls that were just, like... Yeah, the nigiri. She had just the nigiri. And then she, she indulged in a couple of rolls that were sauce-heavy. Which masked the flavor of the nori. And she, and, and she managed to, to piece together a, a, a two-plate meal out of that. <clears throat> sure, Shaq Tito says, Taffy, we need you to lose weight to potentially donate an organ. Taffy standing in the doorway hiding 500 candy bars. I wish it was only 500. It's got to be 600 candy bars that are coming. Chat, this, this was... Glitch, I don't know if you saw this. This was the first wave. Amber went outside on Sunday to go get... Um, to go get muffins for my son's birthday party. Individually wrapped muffins from a nearby bakery. And when she went to leave the house, she couldn't open the front door because there were boxes of candy bars from Amazon stacked so high that the door wouldn't open. <laughs> and that's just wave number one. That's like maybe a seventh. I think that's maybe a seventh of how much is coming. Yo, I see that 3080. That's Pogman's doing. We we had some we had some problems with uh we had some problems with Resident Evil Village crashing, and the the graphics card that I have and or had in the gaming machine is like not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Glitch bought it for me. It was a several hundred dollar card. Um, a while ago, like this is a couple of years ago. Was it a is a sapphire? So, you know, I don't want to make it sound like I was replacing a, a piece of shit. I don't want to make it sound like I was re replacing a, 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 a piece of, of shit graphics card. It was a really good graphics card glitch, glitch gifted to me years ago. But we struggled with Resident Evil Village. Uh, we had a couple of game crashes that seemed to be graphics card related. Uh, and performance related. Like, we bottlenecked a little bit. And uh, Pogman pinged me and said, hey, I've been on a list for a 3080 for a long, long time now. And they just called my number after like months and months of waiting. The problem is, is he'd already found one somewhere else. And he just didn't want the spot to go to waste. So he's like, do you want me to just snap that up and you can just hit me up with money later? So uh, I took it. I, I got questions. I've never done this before. He keeps collecting money, right? I'm just curious. You know what, Bumbo? I tried to play nice. I gave you a whole bunch of money. I thought maybe if I gave you a whole bunch of money, you'd lay off. Maybe that's still a thing. Like not fighting, like not fighting, um, baby plum. But I don't have more than like 12, 15 cents to give you, my guy. It's an obscene amount of coins. So yeah, screw that, man. I'm flutzing around with uh, half my health gone now because of that. I'll take that though. I may or may not have established early on how much I enjoy flight. Where am I? I'm very confused. Yeah, abs, it's not just a 3080, but it's a 3080 at manufacturer suggested retail. I got it for less than 1100. Yeah, I got I got the uh, I, I got the whole whole damn thing for less than 1100. Kind of blew my mind a little bit. Yeah, Pogman, that was fucking exceptionally cool. I appreciate you, ma'am. Yeah, that's a gigantic middle finger to scalpers. 
the same reason it, it took me as long it took me as long to find a, a third uh, uh sorry um it took me as long to find a 3080 as it took me to find a um playstation yo noah m suck lind hulk Wiro. die lab tech man or what uh how do you pronounce that in german d-i-e D day die deflator mouse Archesius Thank you so much D Maybe D Lab Tech Man Or Dia I don't know Still though I don't trust you Turning turning you screen in that call straight away Dio. Ah, Damon. How long do we send Bio to the Shadow Realm for out of morbid curiosity? How long how long am I not allowed to talk to my friend? 30 minutes. She will be missed. A, a, a long time. Yo, Gimpy's paying out like a some bitch. Neat. I had to check the map and see, uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, speak, speak of the devil. Tell Proteus he's still a little bitch. Consider that message relayed. Consider that message relayed. <laughs> Can you imagine if Vio never said any of that stuff and I just did that so that I would get glitch hyped up enough to continue to give me money how many bits time out the streamer shit if we're if we're if, if we're not careful we'll give me bits and I'll at, you know I'll, I'll, I'll give it give in to the simple fact that I've been up since 3 30 this morning now I'll gleefully go vegetate on the couch I, I hate that I've been up as early as I've been up. It'll mean getting to sleep nicely tonight, but not like this, you know? Yeah, it was weird, Noah. It was weird. Um, I, I had a little bit of a trick of a time going to sleep. I, I was I was nestled in bed. It, it was, it's been cold at nights in Virginia. Not like Yukon cold, but like Virginia cold. It's been dipping reasonably close to freezing overnight like spitting distance from freezing um so i've been leaving the windows open and just letting that cold air wash over our bedroom and it's been lovely honestly uh so i got i got it nice and cold in my room I nuzzled up with a, you know, it's not a body pillow. It, it's just a, it's, it's a full length throw pillow. But I use it like a body pillow. Um, ever since I was a kid, I like, I, I, I like, I can't, I can't, until it gets really cold, I can't uh, spoon Amber because we're both, e even when it's chilly outside the, the covers, I just emit too much heat and we're just burning up. But I like sleeping that way. B. Perry, uh, you can take a running jump and fist yourself. You know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, I like sleeping in that position. Like I, 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 I am happy sleeping in that position. My body feels that, like it naturally wants to fall in that position. But I can't wrap myself around Amber because I just emanate too much heat. And we're both super uncomfortable 90 minutes in. Not until it gets... When it gets really cold, then I can do it and I can get away with it. Um, so yeah, I was nice and comfy and cozy and, and kind of ready to settle in for the night. And then I started having weird thoughts about like... 
a bunch of ex-girlfriends that like while they weren't great to me in a whole bunch of situations like there was a bunch of spots where i just sucked and my brain decided that that last night between 9 30 and 11 was a great time to sort through all that <clears throat> um so i um didn't get to sleep until about an hour and a half after I laid down in bed. And that really would have been the end of the world because I honestly still would have gotten like six, six and a half hours. I can function on that. It's not ideal. Um, but then Rory came to bed and started gritting his teeth. I had, like, I had bad nightmares about getting hacked and having hackers like ransomware a whole bunch of stuff on my, like when I say stuff on my computer, I don't mean like, you know, nuclear codes or whatever got doc banned but I mean like uh like I you know like a photocopy of my driver's license like I've got a photocopy of my driver's license hidden on here the running fister <sighs> um and so I just I, I dreamt that I I dreamt that I let my computers get hacked because I in, accidentally installed malware Two of clubs, two of hearts. And so I dreamt, yeah, I dreamt that I lost both my PCs. I dreamt that they bricked both my PCs. Um, the stars. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I dreamt that these guys bricked both my PCs and were posting as me on social media. And then, um... Oh shit, I was like, why can't I fly anymore? Woke up, and when I woke up, Rory was grinding his teeth so bad that it woke Amber and I both up and then kept us awake because we just were miserable that our little man uh, was hurting himself. I mean, it doesn't hurt when you grind your teeth, but like, you're not doing yourself any favors. So, it's just a, a funky day for trying to get good sleep. I'm gonna go see if I can bomb my way into that boss trap room. Can, can I ban him? This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. In fairness, it's been a while since B. Perry changed, uh... It's been a while since B. Perry... B. Perry's changing names a lot, but they haven't changed bit badges in a while. So I'm, you know... I'm neither here nor there about it, honestly. Glitch gets a tear one sub to the penis. <laughs> Thank you, Glitch. Ah, uh, I miss the days when we used to have Eastern European assholes come in here and tell me what a tiny penis I had. The penis versus the running fister. Who will win? Small penis. Sad, really. Sad how small my penis is. What what sucks is that nobody could really argue it. All we could do is make meme accounts and lean into it. It looks like a bird in a nest. Disappointing. Disappointing. Hey, can you come out and fight me? That would be super chill. You and Pin go to the same combat school. Ugh. Um. I mean, I, I don't have any choice. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an acorn in a robin's nest. Shit. Um. All right, hold on. Tiny PP, no bioreactor. That wasn't the same guy, was it? I don't think that was the same guy. It could have been. Was it really the same guy? I'd forgotten that. Oh my god. Uh, shit, was there a battery in the shop? Uh, during Subnautica, that part I remember. I just didn't realize it was Bioreactor Guy that told me I had a tiny penis. I don't remember that guy doing the small dick jokes. I'm in the same boat. That doesn't mean that I'm right. Oh, God, there's nothing in this shop. Ugh. I was going to go back and bomb that room, but I don't think it's worth the effort. 
small penis was Fortnite times? Maybe. I think it might have been because it like what what I'm reminded of was somebody coming in, telling me that I was terrible at the game, and me openly admitting that they were probably better than me at Fortnite, but that it wouldn't matter because it would never translate into viewers for them. And I, I vaguely remember them not liking that. <laughs> I vaguely remember them being like less than thrilled that that was my take. I kind of want to play out one of these. I kind of want to play out these fortune tellers to see if I can maybe get a better trinket. Maybe even get um, maybe even get crystal ball. Crystal ball is so good. <laughs> At the very least, I guess I should donate. But I really kind of genuinely want to see if I can get a better trinket or crystal ball. Made the stupid account immediately after they said it. It was Subnautica. It was the bioreactor guy or just another. I'm not 100% on, but it was definitely Subnautica. Fair enough. It really doesn't matter, but... Yeah, we're, we're far enough removed now that I don't even remember where I was being insulted. Just that somebody was very upset at me. I do vaguely feel like I remember telling them that their advice wasn't necessary here because nobody gave a shit about them. The truth hurt. The truth hurts. Shit stings, I guess. You are a Richard of small stature. I hate doing this. It's just there's so much opportunity in this room and I'd hate to leave it all on the floor. Wishbone. What is... Is Wishbone potentially more health? Wishbone. Small chance of spawning a random pedestal items. Yeah, so... We should definitely hurt ourselves, and then we should definitely try to turn that into an item. I just heard the door either open or close. I really hope that Amber has taken Bug to go get food, because I am... Headache levels of hungry now. Oh my god. I'm begging you, fortune teller. There it is. Oh my. Well, we're gonna leave here with close to a dollar, I think. I'll figure it out. They, that Yara rune. That Yara rune uh, matters. Dude, Pinky's Eye, I think, is what leaves with me. Dude, could you imagine laying hands on, um... Could you imagine laying hands on, um... Getting distant. Um... What am I looking for, though? Immaculate Conception. With the amount of soul hearts we're consuming. Or, um... Whatever the hell that item is that every time you consume a soul heart, it makes you stronger. That'd be... Dynamite. Joker card would be good, too. I don't think we got to deal with the devil. Well, I can't remember if it was this floor or not. I can't remember if we got... I don't think we got... I don't think we got to deal with the devil on this floor. Soul Locket, that's the one. I am so, like, so ridiculously hungry. My head hurts. I said we we're gonna leave here with a dollar, but I don't know if that's necessarily accurate. Meat stick, maybe. I need to start thinking about my sodium intake, though. There it is. Jesus Christ in a cab. The moon. Uh. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Pinky's eye. Or 
were you? You were Alges. You were you were an Ace of Diamonds. Were you both Ace of Diamonds? Okay. Straight cash, homie. Maybe not leaving here with a dollar, but we'll leave here with 31 cents. Not bad. Plus the ability to make some money on other floors. Um, yeah, this feels pretty good. I think we'll just scoot. Yeah, we'll just go. Whew. <clears throat> Bake ziti and soups from the Olive Garden. Throw on a dessert? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Fun story, when I lived with my sister, I, I lived with my sister uh, right, at, right, right before I moved out here to Virginia, right after I finished my first internship ever. Um, my first paying internship, it was a good job, nice people. I lived with my sister for, oh my god, uh, for a little bit. Just while I was waiting, biding time to come to Richmond. And one day, like she, I've always enjoyed cooking, but like she, she did m more difficult. I didn't have money for ingredients. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I couldn't afford really. Oh, you idiot. Well, now we're, we're, we have health now. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of it somehow. Back when we were in our 20s, she would actually make room in her budget to buy good ingredients to try legitimate recipes. The problem is one night, she had decided she was gonna make like her, I don't wanna say Olive Garden go-to, but her Italian restaurant go-to, which was chicken marsala, which I've learned how to make really well, I, I don't mind saying. Uh, she wanted to make chicken marsala and tiramisu. The problem was is that in both recipes, she forgot a very important key ingredient. So she went to make the chicken. She didn't have Marsala wine. She did have Merlot though. And the problem is, is that she made it exactly to the recipe with the exception of she changed out the Marsala for Merlot and it dyed the chicken purple. It tasted kind of good. It tasted okay, but the chicken was still purple. And then she went to make tiramisu and she didn't have lady fingers. But she did have twink. She did. She, she did have Twinkies. <laughs> she did have Twinkies. So she used the Twinkies and she made chicken Merlot and Twinkie Masu. Uh, the the Twinkie Masu was bad. It was soggy. It was a soggy, goopy mess. The chicken Merlot was all right. It was tenable. If you just didn't look at it because it was neon purple, it was neon purple chicken. That shit looked like it did. It looked like it looked like a like a children's grape flavored cough syrup color of purple. But yeah, she made it. <laughs> she she'd be so pissed if I told this story. But yeah, she made uh, Twinkie Masu and chicken Merlot, chicken Merlot. It was, uh, not good. I, that said, the whole meal was Judgment. edible, but, like, it certainly was not what she was looking for. It was not what she was hoping it would be. I still give her shit about it 15 years later. Good old Twinkie Masu. She made great, yeah, she made Welch's grape drank chicken to go along with her Twinkie Masu. I, she did she did learn her lesson i'm trying to think of what my worst experiment was dude so at one point at one point i was super pleased with myself because i found mislabeled lollipop lamb chops at a at a, a supermarket in philadelphia these lamb chops were supposed to be like 14 dollars a pound and of course if you if you've ever seen if you've ever seen lamb chops you know a pound of lamb chops is like you know, there's like eight of them, and they're all like a single good bite of meat. 
And so you're looking at paying, you know, 20 bucks for that. This, this was like a decade ago, 15 years ago. Um, so I found some lamb chops that were mislabeled. And instead of being labeled $14 a pound or $20 a pound or whatever, it was labeled at like a buck 50 a pound instead of 15 bucks. And so I ended up getting this pound of lamb chops for like a dollar and change. Um, which was awesome. But then I ruined them. Like, I didn't look for a recipe. I don't know what was wrong with me. The internet existed. I could have just gone and looked up lamb chop recipes. But I, like, I, like, pan-seared them with lime juice. Which I thought would be good. And instead just made it very aggressively, even painfully metallic. It, it made it taste like I was licking a quarter I found under... Jesus Christ. Did you guys stop? It made it taste like I was when I when I finally broke down and like tried one of them. It made it taste like I was licking a quarter I found under a bench at a bus stop. It was it was bad and I, I felt so miserable. I felt so miserable because uh it was essentially you know fourteen, fifteen dollars worth of lamb chops that I just just crucified with whatever the fuck I cooked them with. It was, I, it was bad. I had to throw them all away. And I felt awful about it. Millie Pad, welcome back. When I was a bartender, I hated purple teeth wine drinkers hitting on me. I had, like, I remember uh, when Sideways came out with Paul Giamatti and Virginia Madsen and Thomas Hayden Church. Uh, apparently, they drank so much fake red wine in that movie that at one point during the filming... Virginia Madsen had to, like, take a week off from filming to go get her teeth whitened uh, by a dentist because everybody in the cast teeth were basically slowly but surely staining this purple. This is the story of the newest denizen of the King. God dang it. I mean, I've got all the spare health in the world on this floor, but my, my lack of damage output is bothersome to me. Ninety percent chance of the cave. for a deal with the devil. One in ten shot that I don't get a deal with the devil, and guess what happens? Oh, ninety percent, not a hundred percent. Kilo tier one, thirty-four months. Ao tap. I hope you're keeping well. I'm getting along. I'm getting along. Abs with the gifted tier one sub to a Pierrist. Thank you, Abs, for the gifted sub and Kilo. Of course, welcome back. XCOM, baby! <laughs> I hope I don't miss from this close range. What are you doing back there, Step RNG? Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'm not gonna use the, um... Why am I even up here? What am I looking for? What do I think I'm looking for? It's just dead end rooms. <sighs> okay. I did that the exact opposite. Let's do it the right way. There we go. I'm so hungry. Oof, chat. I'm gonna try not to just legitimately stop stream and eat, but I might do almost exactly that. Food sounds so good right now. I got up, I got up and, I got up way too early, but I got up and went to the gym, and whenever I go to the gym, and I fast in the mornings, I mean, it's been, I don't know, I could eat for eight, so it's been 16 hours, it's been 17 hours since I've had food. I have a, a grumbly tumbly. Ruben. Well, I mean, Amber's out getting food for me right now, so, like, I, I, I genuinely insisted to Amber that whatever she would get me would be fine because I didn't want her... I didn't want her to short-circuit over trying to come up with whatever she was supposed to bring me for lunch. Amber's not the kind of person who thrives when I just say, like, bring me whatever looks good. She... She, uh... Benefits greatly from boundaries. I can see your horror. 
she up. benefits Just greatly die. from boundaries. She she loves having restrictions because it makes it so much easier for her to to process. Um, so she, Bug wanted Sonic because he's homesick from from school. So I think she was taking him to Sonic, and I said if she brings me Sonic, great. If she doesn't bring me Sonic, that's also great. No wrong answers. I'll adjust accordingly. Yeah, the choice paralysis with her is, is like, kind of low-key, legitimately devastating. Driving to pick up my lunch. Thank you again. Uh, all the thanks in the world for that one goes to, to Champ... Champoon Poon. Champoon Poon. Feeding the mods. I am uh, merely a conduit. Merely a conduit. I'm just passing on the message. Yeah, man. I kind of want to take both. Is that weird? Side note, good God, I love hate. Nuclear Throne has been an abusive relationship all month, almost to the point of pulling out a notepad to study the old Taffy vids. You know, the ones on the channel that's doing the suspicious click activity. That's soy milk. Not soy milk, almond milk. It's like soy milk. I'm going to take them both. That's amazing. I love it. I don't have to charge my shots anymore. That's fucking exceptional. 1.6 damage. Don't get hung up on details. Get hung up on fucking awesome. All we need now is damage. Did I mention I don't have to charge my shots anymore? I feel like that bears mentioning. Oh, kind of stuck. I don't think that works. It might. One of the things I've always disliked about almond milk is how crazy all the shots, like the shots go left, the shots go right. The shots circle around you, and it kind of makes it hard to plan how you're going to attack a room because you can't shoot straight. But the thing that I really appreciate about this is A, how quiet it is, and B, but seriously, all of my shots are going straight out in front of me and are huge. Did he say he needed us to be quieter? Oh god, glitch, I know what you're talking about. The visualizer on the on the uh, Windows Media Player from the aughts. I should have In here, asshole. There we go. Oh, I should have donated. I didn't realize that what floor we were on. I know you're always keen to give me lump of coal game. Now be the time. Going to the lamb. There's that damage we were asking for. Where'd he go? There we go. Well, there's some of that damage we were asking for. Aww. 
damn. I have so much candy in this house and I can't eat it. I need to not eat it. Um, I don't know, man. It's so good. No real familiars to speak of this room, which is kind of a bummer. I genuinely, this run feels really, really good. It's a lot of fun right now. I regret that it's loud. I'm, I may turn it down a little bit after this, after this room. It's like my own little Ghostbuster proton pack stream. Motherfucker, what were you doing there? I'm going to turn, turn it down a little bit. Go get him, Leech. Boy, all the health in the world, man. Man, I got a hell of a to-do list tonight. As much as I am truly enjoying In Sound Mind, I can't go over today. I've got, I've got to um, draw up a meal plan for the week. I've got to find my Minecraft login. Hey, baby. What we end up with? Um, you have a choice of a grilled chicken sandwich or a regular burger. Um, let's see. Let's see. And these. you have your choice of fries or broccoli cheddar tots. Fries or broccoli cheddar tots? Fries. I'll take fries without the broccoli and cheddar on them. I'll take the burger. Oh my god, dude. I thought you meant they were like topped oh, no. like that. No, it's like legitimately, inside. it's a tater tot with yep. broccoli and cheddar on the inside. Uh huh. I was interested in trying it. They kind of fuck. Oh. A little bit. <laughs> Shit. You, I, I still you don't want those. <laughs> I want like one more. Grilled chicken sandwich and broccoli tater tot sounds amazing. I'm gonna take the burger because the chicken sandwich is slathered, slathered in mayo, so I think it's gonna be six of one, half a dozen of the other, really. They come out about the same color. Oh, man, yeah, see? Um. No, no, I'll take the burger. What's on the. What, what are the condiments on the burger? Yeah, see, I'll take the burger because it's got mustard on it. See? I told Chad how bad I felt about fucking up your soy papers the other night. <laughs> so. Okay, well, okay. I'm happy with this then. Did you? You want one more? No, I don't. Okay. I, I shouldn't. Okay. I take it you heard the tail end of the lady from VCU asking me to get less fat for your brother. Um, she called me too. Oh, okay. Um, and just asked for clarification on my my cancer history, and she's gonna pass it on to the the nursing team. I'm so, a little bit. Since I'm since I'm cleared now and quote unquote cured. I'm a little um, bit. Um, they might put me on. I'm a little bit uh, nervous about the fact that my, my blood pressure might still be a thing, apparently. Yeah. Like, blood pressure is a thing that, that will wean them off of you. Um, I did find out with one kidney, you can still drink. You just can't drink a lot. So, <laughs> But also, at 41, you can't drink a lot. That's <laughs> true. Or else you have to end stream early on Saturday so that you don't <laughs> shit your pants in front of your viewers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this run and then I'm gonna eat this food. Thank you, baby. I love you. Glitch sent money for mods and also just gave us money, cuz. 
Champion spent sent a uh, hundred dollars specifically earmarked for for lunch for the Caps family. Oh, well, Rory says thank you. Rory says thank you. Hi, Rollers. <laughs> oh no, class balling man. So that, I've, I've been kind of echoing these throughout the day, but there's a there's an outside chance. There's an outside chance that my brother-in-law may find himself needing a kidney. And if it's the difference between me having to go under the knife and, and me having a brother-in-law who's on dialysis and miserable about it, uh, then I will I will be I will be a good man. I'll try my best to be a good man and see if I'm a match for him. Yeah, Klaus Walling Man, they asked me if I wanted to be an altruistic donor. Um, they asked me if I was if I wanted to be an altruistic donor, and I'll level with you. I just wasn't ready for that shit yet. I, I wish I was a big enough person, not not literally. That's actually the problem is that I'm quite quite big enough as a person, but um, I wish I was a, a big enough person in here to just hand my fucking kidney off to somebody. But I just don't I don't have it in me yet. All I'll say is, is it's a is it's a low sodium diet that takes getting used to. That's, I mean, I got some blood pressure issues that are probably going to call for that anyway. So we'll see. I don't know. They they might they might continue to tell me. You know, they might continue to insist that I'm not I'm not a viable uh, kidney person. But they might not. And if I can help them out, yeah. It's uh, Veril says my grandpa died on dialysis. It, it wasn't great. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I like my brother-in-laws very much. Um, I would hope that they would be... I would hope that they would be tempted to do the same for me. Um, you know. Just try, trying to do right by, by... You know, trying to do right by people. Pizza rolls. Oh, God. When in doubt, Lisa, go pizza rolls. Always. Pizza rolls. I'm like, I'm literally about to sit here and have, uh, I'm literally about to sit here and have lunch. And there's a part of me that wishes my lunch was pizza rolls. Pizza rolls are always good. If needed, I know some people who could rustle up a kidney for a favor that we may or may not be able to ask questions about. I can't tell if you're fucking around or not, because I know that you belong to the Masons. Nicholas Cage, I think I can't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. May 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 have spilled the beans on black or black market organ organ harvesting on national treasure. I don't remember. Yeah, birth from cheese. That's exactly it. I I think what it ended up being is best they can figure out. As best they can figure out, it seemed to be. Um, well, shit. I think he had an allergic reaction to amoxicillin. And it just took a couple of different hospitals a very long time to figure that out. I get first right of refusal on donating an organ to Taffy. It's one of the few donation types I haven't crossed off the bucket list. God, can you imagine? Like, listen. I don't want to cross that line until we absolutely have to, Champion, because at that point, there can't be that much real estate left. You know what I mean? Like, I guess there is the chance that you could William Shatner me into space on the next Blue Origin flight. And be like, oh, did you guys hear that uh, Champion yeeted Taffy into space? And Taffy went. Okay. <clears throat> now all we need is the game to give us the red key. And we'll be all set. Huh. Well, here's hoping that we get a deal with the devil we can use this Perthor rune on. 
And then we can once again procure flight. And then once we have that, we can go back and get the Emperor card and we can bypass the entirety of the chest. One, one of my least favorite floors to fight that I have to fight is the chest, man. I haven't eaten, I haven't eaten at a Waffle House since grad school. Balls of steel. Yo, that's a pretty dope tears upgrade. Yo, I can't see shit. Seems to have worked. Helped our odds a little bit. Speed up. I had Almond Milk Tech X and Sacred Heart with Tainted Isaac in a run. Got a lot done, I'd imagine. That sounds amazing as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'd imagine the bitrate's probably s suffering with this with this build. I'm just glad that the, you know, it, it seems as though the run's not going to crash. Oh, God, give me, give me a cracked key piece or the red key, please. Can you get the red key... Can you get the red key from a uh, deal with the devil? I don't know that you can. I gotta rem remind myself that I'm going down. I'll never turn down a guppy piece. I was hoping for like Abaddon. Abaddon would take those red hearts away. Or a demon bum, or like dark bum would have been cool. Yeah, dark bum would have been amazing. You can get it from a key beggar? That'd be dynamite. I don't know that I have it in me to search for key beggars. But if I find one, I don't know, we may be able to to milk an angel angel item out or two. <clears throat> Sorry, we won't be skipping the chest or the cathedral, we'll be skipping uh Shoal. What's on the schedule this afternoon for Taffy and is it a nap? I think I can muscle through, man. I genuinely do. I think I can muscle through. I genuinely shouldn't nap today if I can help it, if I can help it at all. I should just stay super sleepy and then when nighttime hits I can go to bed at the right time. Oh, you little rat bastard. Fuck it. This is the story of the newest denizen. Moment, he did Senorita Huxley. Dragon Dad, thank you so much. The Rabbit, thank you for the gifted sub. Dragon Dad, welcome back as always. Oh shit. Whisper quiet, really. Which is more accurate, McLappy Daddy or McDaddy Tappy? I'm hoping to become McDaddy Tappy. Um, well, shit. Um, uh, we do that. We do that. 
And then we do that, maybe? Maybe that was right? <clears throat> I am hoping that if I lose this weight, uh, to potentially help out my brother-in-law, that uh, I can maybe post my first ever thirst photo. My first ever thirst trap. Would be fun. Oh, I got hit. Damn. Dude, I'm gonna hold on to this devil card for sure. Make only fans. I, I listen. That joke gets cracked at least once a day. I said it before and I'll say it again. My problem with OnlyFans is not that I have some sort of moral apprehension to it. My problem with OnlyFans is I'm terrified that if I were to do it even as a joke, that it would perform well. And then I'd be obligated to continue to figure out what kind of OnlyFans content I could do. Yo, Dead Flip's here. Oh no. I was super duper in my head. I was super duper in my head, uh, talking to chat the other day, I said, yo, I, I hit up Deathlit with a Twitter DM, but I feel like I was treating this dude like he was my personal pinball shopper, and I'm sure people fuck with him like that all the time, and I was like, I hope he doesn't feel like I'm just like, yo, can I exploit you for the thing that you're known for on Twitter, or on Twitch, uh, via my Twitter DMs, because... Champion is now $9,000 deep in contributions here. I have nine grand plus some of my own money if needs be. And now all I got to do is go find the table that I want. I think I've narrowed it down to four. No, what'd you do? Made an affordable home game for Stern. Do you have links? Show us. Oh God. Please share. I'd have a pinball machine right now. If I had just like, uh, not been so scared about making a, a potentially five figure investment. The new alien pinball looks amazing. Hey, Pierce, do you have that one? I don't know that I've seen that one. Maybe I've seen that one. I feel like I've seen that one. That's fucking awesome though. I think I've narrowed mine down. I'd still love to try to find an Adams Family one, but I was thinking about this the other- Let me finish this fucking run. <laughs> Let me finish this incredibly loud run, and then I'll talk to you guys about pinball real quick. This sensory overload run. This is an awesome effect that we have going on with almond milk. It's just incredibly loud. You made the Jurassic Park home game. Damn, dude, for 4,600 bucks? That's half the price of their normal machine. I don't, like, I'm telling chat that. I'm not telling you that. You clearly know that. <clears throat> but yeah, chat, that's... Half the price of what you normally spend on the table from Stern. That's amazing, dude. I wouldn't mind a little more health. Yeah, two grand cheaper than their cheapest model. I'm gonna, I'm terrified I'm gonna hit the trailer and it's gonna have John Williams music in the background. So I'm gonna keep this tab open so I can watch the game trailer later. I think, I, was, I would still love to find an Adams Family table. But they're so old at this point. Like they're, they're, they're so old and their condition could be such a crapshoot that what I'm now thinking is that it's either Mandalorian or Avengers or Deadpool. Because my thought is, as much as I love the Adams Family table, I have played a lot of Adams Family. I've played hours and hours and hours of Adams Family in my youth. 
in my teenage years, double digit, if not triple, triple digit hours on, on the Adams Family table. So it might be time better spent. It might be time better spent um, getting to know a new game, you know? Yeah, God, I've seen I've seen you gush about Deadpool, and I, I think the thing that'll take people by surprise. Oh, you little Oh my god, I got lucked I got so lucky. I think the thing that'll take people by surprise is that admittedly you're not like a big Deadpool fan. You're not like a big comic book Deadpool fan. Um uh, it's just that by your own admission, Deadpool as a pinball table is just that much better a table than anything else you've ever played. We just got an Adams in the studio. It costs way too much. That's what I'm nervous about is because while while Champion did give me nine grand to put towards the, the pinball table fund, I don't know that I can go six grand of my own to get a $15,000 good condition Adams family table. Glitch, I know that you're doing this as a joke to say I never wanted to caress some balls as much as I wanted want to that machine. Funny you should say that. <laughs> I don't like this room. Stop! They're shitting spiders at me. I've never held a pinball before. And I'm genuinely excited when I buy a table. One of the first things I'm gonna do is pop the table open and just hold a pinball for the first time in my life. I've imagined for 30 years what they feel like. I've never picked one up before. That's gonna be the first thing I do, regardless of what the table is that I get that I get in on. I might be able to convince Amber on Deadpool. I would prefer Deadpool over Avengers because I just don't like the sling ring mechanic. Well, okay, I, I don't dislike the sling ring mechanic. I don't dislike the sling ring mechanic, but it is, um, I don't know. There's a part of me that gets frustrated when I got a good shot lined up and then I hit the sling ring and it just, the ball caroms off in whatever direction, you know? Um. So there's a part of me that's kind of torn between Mando because I think the content would be more exciting to... My wife has basically said she'd be more okay with hearing the Mando OST in the house 15 hours a day than anything else that's on the list. But I think the boys and I would enjoy the play of Deadpool better. And I had... I, it took me a while to convince her, including letting, uh, like... My, my my YouTube algorithm loads my recommended videos now. And this is not a complaint. Uh, my YouTube algorithm loads my recommended videos now with dead flip videos. Because I've watched him play so many of the tables that I've been entertaining buying. Um, but yeah, like I had to let her watch a, a bunch of those tables. And then show her Deadpool and be like... It has to be age appropriate. It's not a Ryan Reynolds. It's not like the Rick and Morty machine, right? That, that's clearly rated R. Uh, but it has to be like age appropriate enough that they can stick it in a in a Pizza Hut in Des Moines, Iowa, and no one's gonna get upset when you know Timmy's Little League team comes in for their for their big pepperoni pizza party. And so after about 30 some odd minutes of watching Deadflip play Deadpool, I think I sold her on, like the boys have never seen Deadpool, but they're so excited because they know it's taboo, right? They know they're not allowed to see it, but they know he's like, they love Ryan Reynolds from Detective Pikachu and from Free Guy. Like his sense of humor plays right into their hands. And so they're, they're you know, I, I think they would get fired up at the prospect of, well, if we can't see the movie, the next best thing would be playing the Deadpool pinball machine. Core, what's going on, man? Maybe a crazy idea, but I'd take the money, uh, 
and buy an absolute top of the line virtual pinball cabinet. I'm absolutely in love with mine. Or I've heard there's a new Jurassic Park home pin. Funny you should mention the new Jurassic Park home pin. Uh, Dead Flip uh, helped design it or did design it. I don't know the extent of it. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to guess it was like a team effort. I don't know how it how it all breaks down. Do tell. Yeah, Deadflip just literally just came in here to let us know. Holy shit, design the whole thing and work with the team to produce it. Fuck me, that's so cool. That's so cool, man. Yeah, I honestly think I'm gonna let go of the dream of getting an Adam's Family Cable. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one of the newer Stern tables that I wanna play. Hello? I think I'm gonna get one of the newer Stern tables that, that are closer to the amount of money that Champion gave me uh, and learn how to play a new table because, you know, honestly, the only thing that would keep me from blowing up a huge score on the Adams Family is just the skill necessary to hit the shots. I know how the table works. I have known how the tables work for years. Um, shit, there's nothing else I can get done on this floor. I was hoping that we get something interesting like uh, Dad's Key or something, but it didn't show up. That's that's fine. We still managed to run Apollyon, or Apollyon all the way down to uh, the lamb. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, Some days, bumbo, lucky bumbo. Some days, bumbo. 